In this video, you'll learn how to work with the Pivot Grid dashboard item. The dashboard designer is already connected to the data source. We'll click the Pivot button to add a Pivot Grid dashboard item to the dashboard. Next, drag and drop the Sales field to the Value section. The Pivot will display a total sales value. Now let's see sales by different years. Drop the Order Date field to the Column section and leave the default group interval and the pivot will display total product sales in different years. Next, drag and drop the region field to the rows section to see product sales by a region and the order year. The pivot dashboard item can display data in a hierarchical way as well. To add a new detail level for order dates, drag and drop another order date field to the column section and set its group interval to month. You can also expand specific years to see sales by months. Finally, drop the State Province field to the Rows section. To specify the default expanded state of column row values, go to the Data tab and specify the initial state. To change text displayed within the Pivot caption, right-click Pivot, select Edit Names, and specify a new name, and click OK. If necessary, you can remove the caption using the Show Caption command in the Context menu. Let's change the format settings that affect the way values are displayed within the Pivot Dashboard item. Click the Sales menu button and select Format. In the Invoke dialog, specify the format type as Currency and select the required currency. And you'll see cell values will be displayed with the corresponding currency symbol. Next, let's click the Menu button of the Order Date Month data item and change its format to Abbreviated, and month values will be displayed in the abbreviated format. Now we'll remove the Order Date Month data item from the Column section and take a look at other data shaping and analysis features. To filter the Pivot Dashboard item, select Edit Filter from the Context menu. In the Invoke dialog, construct the required filter criteria and click OK. If you want to filter the pivot by dimension values that do not directly take part in the visual representation of data, drop the required dimension to Hidden Data Items and add the required condition to the filter criteria. To reset filtering, use the clear command. Now let's see how to sort states by sales values. Click the State Province menu button and select Sort by Sales. Switch the sort order to descending. States within specific regions will be sorted by grand total values in descending order. The Pivot Dashboard item allows you to use conditional formatting to highlight its values. Let's color data cells depending on their values. Click the Menu button of the Sales Measure and select Add Format Rule, Gradient Range, White, Blue. In the Invoke dialog, specify the Intersection Mode as Last Level and click OK. Pivot cells will be colored depending on their values, from blue for the largest values to white for the smallest ones. Now let's highlight states with the best sales. Select Add Format Rule, Top Bottom, Top In. In the Invoke dialog, specify the intersection mode as specific level, set row dimension to State Province, and select State Province from the Apply To combo box to apply formatting to corresponding field values. Finally, switch to the Icons tab and select the required icon to highlight top values and we'll click OK to see the result. Now select Print Preview to make sure that all data shaping formatting settings are preserved in the printed document. Finally, let's see how the Pivot Dashboard item can interact with other dashboard items. Add the List Box Dashboard item, bind it to the Region field, and switch its type to Radio.
Select the required region to filter the pivot according to the selected value. Finally, to avoid the influence of master filters, go to the Data tab and enable Ignore Master Filters. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.